Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to uh, show you what you need to change this MTX-1 body. Um, the MTX-1 body is, is some sort of Chevy based body. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this body to the Traxxas Bigfoot body that comes on the, uh, the Traxxas Stampede Bigfoot truck. So um, the Traxxas parts that you will need to convert this one to a Bigfoot is uh, you'll need the body of course and this is the part number Traxxas 3660 it's a Ford body you'll also need these two uh, sets this is a uh, Traxxas 3656 and that gives you the Ford grill And you will also need Traxxas 3662 for the roll bar and the bumpers. As far as paint goes, I'm probably going to be using Tamiya PS16, which is metallic blue, and back it with uh, Tamiya PS1 which, or PS5, which is black. Alright, so when we come back, uh, I will have the body painted, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, we're back, and the body is all painted up and ready to go. Let's take a look. Once again, I used Tamiya PS15 metallic blue, uh, backed with Tamiya PS5 uh, black. See the grill, some nice details to it. Your bumper. Now you'll notice that uh, the body comes with the pre-drilled holes for the Traxxas Stampede platform and I had to remount four new holes for the MTX-1 these two right here and these two inner ones right there so let's take a look at how it's going to be on the uh, MTX-1 so here's a little size comparison between the uh, stock MT, MST MTX-1 body and the Traxxas Classic Bigfoot body. You'll see that the length is pretty much the same, which is great because that's what we're looking for. Here's a look of the at the two bodies from the front. And you'll see that the stock MST MTX-1 body here is a little bit wider than the Traxxas Classic Bigfoot body. And that's mainly the reason why the stock MST MTX-1 body doesn't uh, make the uh, MTX-1 look as good. It's, it makes the chassis look a little bit small, whereas the Traxxas Bigfoot body is a little bit smaller and makes the rest of the chassis look a little bit bigger. So, there's a difference in width. Okay, here we have the MTX-1 with its original body. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's a nice body, but something seems a little off about it. I mean, it doesn't really give that real monster truck vibe because the body's a little bit bigger than uh, what the rest of the chassis should be. Let's take a look with the uh, Traxxas Bigfoot body on. As you can see there it looks a lot more scale um, of course it's not 100% accurate because this thing's got a tube chassis uh, and the classic Bigfoot body didn't have that but I mean as far as scale looks go I mean it looks great
let's look from the side. And that pretty much does it. Uh, getting a Trax Trax's Bigfoot classic Bigfoot body onto the MST MTX1. Now, some of you may not want to go the route I did, where I actually bought uh, the body unpainted and the the uh, detailed plastic parts separately. Um, and you may want to buy a. Uh, pre pretty much a classic Traxxas uh, Stampede Bigfoot takeoff body where it's already pre-painted for you and all done up for you. Um, there's a few differences. So the way I did it where I painted my own body, I actually have clear windows. Um, the stock Traxxas body, the one that comes pre-painted with the RTR, these windows are all painted the same color as the rest of the body and basically they have black stickers that go over the windows so if you buy your own body you get to have the clear windows and I believe the RTR also does not have a black bed it has a, a blue bed that's painted like the rest of the body uh, the other difference is um, well this is actually a trick because I uh, that's good to know because I actually painted the body before measuring up the the, the holes for the body posts. Uh, what you could do is uh, first do a, a quick test fit to kind of get an approximate idea of where these body posts would be. And what I did was I took some clay, uh, modeling clay, and I kind of stuck mod modeling, modeling clay at the... Uh, the spots where I thought the body post might be. That way, um, when I do a test fit, what happens is when I kind of measure it up and make sure everything's even, I press down on the clay and it makes an indentation on the clay. And you would see clay with an indentation in it, and that's how you know where to ream uh, the holes out on the body for uh, for the MST MTX1. So it's just a little trick that I kind of learned while I was uh, Putting, uh, making this body fit on this truck, so. Here's one final look at how the Traxxas Classic Bigfoot body sits on the MST MTX1 chassis. Thank you.